So the M1911 and AK-74U is finally here. We finally got the update. The M1911 and AK-74U is now on Zombie Chronicles. I have waited a long time for this update. I'm so happy it is now here. And in this video, I'm going to be comparing the M1911 to the MR6, just to see what is the better starting gun. But before we get started with this video, I just want to list out some other things that were in this update. Number one, this is a big one. The CUDA wall by Ankino is now gone, it is now replaced with the MP40. The MP40 was originally in this spot back in the BO1 days and they decided that they're going to put it back there for BO3. So before this update went live, that this location right here, the original MP40 wall by was the CUDA wall by but now it is back to the MP40 wall by so they decided to put the MP40 in its original space which is awesome. Some other things with the update is they fixed a lot of the Origins glitches and this was a big thing for me. I was getting pissed off at Origins. There was a lot of glitches in Origins. Trying to do the easter egg on Origins with all these glitches was a pain in the ass but they finally fixed these glitches which is amazing. So that's basically you know all the big things on this update. A lot of glitches and bugs were fixed. The MP40 is back in its original spot on Kino, and the biggest thing, the M1911 and the AK-74U now on Zombie Chronicles. So now let's get into comparing the M1911 to the MR6. Now the first thing I gotta say here is the M1911 looks stunning. I mean, it kind of looks like the RK-5 a bit. In my opinion, it looks similar to the RK-5, and the RK-5 looks amazing. It's a beautiful gun. The M1911 just looking nice. So I definitely gotta say that the M1911 the looks of the gun, it looks much better than the MR6. The MR6 kind of looks weird, doesn't look very nice in my opinion, but that doesn't really matter. The, the, how it looks doesn't really matter, it's more of the performance of the gun. And in my opinion, they're kind of similar. I don't really see much difference between the MR6 and the M1911 based on performance, but if I had to pick one on what is more powerful, what's a more powerful gun, I'm probably going to have to lean towards the MR6. I found the M1911 not as strong as the MR6. I think the MR6 is one of the best you know, starting pistols of all time. I, I think the Bloodhound is probably the best. I wish we, we saw the Bloodhound more. We only saw it in Shadows of Evil. I wish we saw it more. I think that the MR6 is one of the most powerful starting pistols of all time. And it, it, it does beat the M1911 in that, but the M1911 is still powerful, but not as much as the MR6. As you can see in this gameplay right here, I'm having trouble with the M1911. I'm having trouble killing these zombies with it. It's only around three and I'm having trouble shooting these zombies with the M1911. If I had the MR6 here, I probably would have killed all these zombies and I probably, you know, would not be in this situation. So for performance, the MR6 definitely takes it, but I mean, the M1911 just looks much better. It's a much cooler gun and it's more fun to use in my opinion. So the better starting pistol, I'm gonna have to say, is the MR6. Now, I just find the MR6 a bit better than the M1911, so I'm gonna have to say that, that the better gun is the MR6, but the M1911 is much more fun to use. In my opinion, I don't really care about how powerful the gun is, just because it's a starting pistol, I'm going to get rid of it very soon, unless I decide to pack a bunch of it, but I'm most likely gonna get rid of it very soon. So in my opinion, the, the powerful, like how powerful the gun is and how good it is doesn't really matter. Again, the MR, I think the MR6 is a bit more powerful and the better gun, but that doesn't really matter. The M1911 is much more fun to use. When I'm using the M1911 on Zombie Chronicles, it reminds me of the classic zombie days. It reminds me of BO1 playing the original Kino with the original M1911. It just brings back so much good memories using this gun and I'm happy that we finally got this update. I do gotta say that the Pack-a-Punch version of the M1911 is much better than the Pack-a-Punch version of the MR6. I mean, the must Mustang and Sally's, you cannot go wrong with using the Mustang and Sally's. I use it all the time back in the day and I'm gonna use it on Chronicles when I use this gun. So I mean the Pack-a-Punch version is much better than the Pack-a-Punch version of the MR6 in my opinion. The Mustang and Sally's, amazing, classic, so much fun to use. So that's it for the video guys. The MR6 in my opinion beats the M1911. It's the overall better gun, but again, that doesn't mean much in my opinion. I think that the M1911 is much more fun to use. If you guys enjoyed this video, Please leave a like, and if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe, and let me know what you guys think on this topic. Let me know what you guys think is a better gun. I'm Dolby, and I'll see you guys in another one later.